Have you heard about Express LRS? If not, I'm going to try to summarize it quite quickly here. Express LRS is a radio protocol that allows you to control your drones from your radio. The same way that FR Sky does it or Crossfire or Ghost or Tracer, it's something similar, right? It's, a, it's the way to communicate from your radio to your drone in order to have control over it. But what's special about Express LRS is that it's an open source project, which means that there is no one specific manufacturer that owns the right to create these kind of modules and receivers. In fact, we can see right now that there are a few companies that are creating Express LRS components. For example, Happy Model is one of them, uh, Beta FPV is another one, and there is a new one with a little bit of a weird name, Amibio or something like that, that is also creating them. Here we have two Express LRS products from Beta FPV. The first one is the model for the radio, this one that you have here. It's made for light version of radios, which means that like this, one feed in a radio that has a bay like this one. In order to use this model in a radio like this one that we have here or a TX16S or something like that, you are going to need to have a mod, uh, an adapter like this one here, where you can connect the model like this and then you can connect this to the back of your radio. On first hand, this solution looks smart because then you produce only one model. You don't have to think about two different sizes and you just use the adapter to connect to the radio. But you have to wonder why did Better FPV decided to do was this size of the model, when in my opinion, it's much more common that you find radios with the with the standard size than the light version in fact only two radios that i can think about that you can use this directly it's the tango 2 and the taranis light this model doesn't work on for example the jumper t light because the jumper needs to have some internal modification in order to power uh, the adapter Configuring and using Express LRS is not directly out of the box magic. You need to do a few things. You need to download a program that is kind of like your, your main application to do a few things. You need to download a, a Lua script to your radio so you can also do some configurations and so on. But more importantly, I would say that if you are a beginner on the FPV world and you are not very interested in technicalities, Express LRS might be a little bit too much right now because you have to still keep in mind a few things understand what's the XRX uh, build a firmware and then upload that firmware it's not rocket science it's not super complicated but it's not as straightforward as for example if you're using crossfire that is kind of just to turn it on click one button and bind but if you are up to the challenge then there are very good guides and actually the Express LRS group has created a quick start guide on a website that drives you through the whole process, very simple. They tell you what to download, they tell you what to, to select. You have to read um, a little bit in order to understand what you're doing, but it's, again, it's not rocket science. You can do it if you have the time. When I was going to upgrade the firmware, I got an error on the screen, which I had to research the internet to understand what was happening. It ends up being that the beta FPV hardware has a problem, um, a missing capacitor, which is not allowing you to upgrade the firmware of the uh, transmitter, either by Wi-Fi or USB. In my opinion, it's still quite difficult because you are paying for a hardware which is supposed to be doing Wi-Fi connection and USB connection. And the workaround tells you that you have to open this hardware and you have to click a button and keep it click during the, the, pr the process of upgrading the, the module, which is not ideal. It's something that I think it, it shouldn't be like this. Beta FPV is saying that it's just a small uh, batch of receiver um, uh, transmitters that has this problem 
but at this time I haven't seen any kind of plan that they have to change uh, defective models or anything else than just go and use the workaround that is on the video. If you succeed upgrading the firmware of your module and upgrading the firmware of the receiver, you see that during the configuration you use a, a phrase. If that phrase is the same one on the receiver and the transmitter, your devices are going to connect without having to do anything else, which is actually really cool. And I think it's one of the, the key things of ExpressLRS. Once that you have done this a couple of times, you're gonna see that it's very simple. You just upgrade your receiver or the next receivers that you're going to be using, you just upgrade it, use the same phrase and everything is gonna bind like magically. Again, pretty cool. So ExpressLRS is quite exciting. I have this working uh, with the workarounds. Um, I'm not liking the fact that I have to do that kind of workarounds to make it work. So if you are interested in ExpressLRS, I think there are better options than Beta FPV in order to get your hardware. The good thing, again, is that because this is open source, you can get Beta FPV receivers, for example, and the transmitter from Happy Model or whatever combination you want, as long as they are in the right firmware, both receiver and transmitter, you're going to be able to communicate and use the ExpressLRS technology. So that's that for me is a, is a really good thing. This is a technology that is promising quite a lot and therefore uh, if you are interested in it, just go and test it. Number one thing is that you have many manufacturers doing the same, uh, using the same technology, which is great. Number two thing is that actually because of that, the prices are very low, which means that the price for uh, the transmitter and the receivers is you can find it kind of around half the price of a crossfire so go ahead and test it let me know what you think about it in the comments and hopefully this was something good and hope to see you soon thank you